Hello everyone, today we are with a new video about artificial and bioartificial livers. So as we all know, the liver is one of the major organs necessary for survival and the most metabolically complex organ. It is also the only organ that can completely regenerate itself. There are many main functions of the liver such as to detoxify. It uses enzymes and auto to burn the toxins, especially the fatty ones. It there transforms them into water-soluble particles that would be easy to eliminate by the body. It synthesizes plasma proteins, produce hormones such as thrombopoietin that is responsible to regulate the production of platelets in the blood. It stores glycogen, excretes bilirubin, which, which is a brownish yellow substance found in bile produced when the liver breaks down all red blood cells. It also produces the necessary biochemicals, which is bile, for digestion. It's a substance that digests fatty food. The main causes that lead to the damage of the liver with time are obesity, hepatitis B or C or other viruses, alcohol, toxins, cancer, autoimmune diseases, which are diseases that attack itself, and drugs such as antibiotics and anticonvulsants, which are drugs taken for epilepsy. In reality, the liver is an organ that has multiple functions, many of which cannot be replaced by a machine. The most effective treatment of liver damage is a liver transplant. But currently, one-third of these patients die while waiting for a transplant and the organ shortage is increasing. Therefore, the role of an artificial liver is to sustain the life until a liver transplant is possible or long enough for the liver to regenerate itself. One of the original problems for artificial livers is that a machine cannot create the enzymes and chemicals that a real liver can. Unlike renal failure, artificial support systems were not widely used in liver failure mainly because hepatic toxins are albumin-bound unlike most uremic toxins and hence cannot be removed by conventional dialysis. It has been only recently that advances have been made concerning removal of hepatic toxins. It is thus now possible to support the patient with liver failure till the liver recovers or until liver transplantation is feasible. The several liver support systems that are currently under investigation are considered under two main categories of artificial and bioartificial. An artificial liver device is a form of artificial extracorporeal liver support. The device to toxify blood via an anion exchanger BR350 and an active charcoal. Plasmapheresis is a process in which the liquid in the blood or plasma is separated from the cells. The plasma is retained while cells are returned to the patient, reinfused with saline. The patient's blood is led through the hollow fiber capillaries of a plasmapheresis filter. The filter uses a permeable membrane to separate, according to size, the smallest components, plasma, from the large components, which are cells. A negative pressure is applied via the effluent pump to remove a plasma from the blood side of the membrane to speed up the process. Separated plasma passes then through a cartridge containing the charcoal particles which absorb lipid-soluble toxins. When certain chemicals like lipid-soluble toxins pass next to the carbon surface, they attach to the surface and are trapped. Toxins bound to, a, to albumin in the patient's blood while detach and bind to the carbon binding sites. Many other chemicals are not attracted to the carbon so they pass right through. This means that an activated charcoal filter will remove certain impurities while ignoring others like bilirubin. A selective absorption of bilirubin from plasma is done using an ion exchange resin column BR350. The adsorption of bilirubin, which is negatively charged, to the resin stationary phase, which is positively charged, is driven by the ionic interaction between the oppositely charged ions. The treated plasma is then returned to the patient after heating.
Other type is the bioartificial liver support devices. They are cell-based liver support devices and have a cellular component such as hepatocytes, which are important cells in the liver that produce proteins. The artificial liver support devices can only provide the detoxification function, while the addition of cellular component in the bioartificial liver support devices is aimed at replacing the important liver functions which are detoxification, excretion, and synthesis. We can also see that bioartificial liver support devices are higher in cost and has complexity of maintaining level components, which are hepatocytes, but they have expected results that are more promising because the artificial liver support devices are limited to only detoxification. At the heart of the design for a bioartificial liver is the Bioreactor, it's the main part. The simplest type and one used most commonly consists of a column containing hollow fiber capillaries through which flows the patient's plasma. In the extracapillary space lie the hepatocytes. Plasma can separate it warmed and oxygenated before being perfused through the bioreactor capillaries. Free exchange of molecules can occur between a plasma and hepatocytes in the bioreactor across a membrane through the halofiber membranes capillaries. The hepatocytes extract oxygen and nutrients and detoxify toxins from the plasma, and their metabolites are simultaneously ba passed back into the plasma. The system also incorporates a charcoal column prior to the bioreactor for removal of toxins, which could damage or impair the function of the hepatocytes. The treated plasma finally is returned to the patient after heating and the treatment.